he's a humanoid or android or robot, and he's basically there as a butler. That's kind of a, another thing that Ridley and I sort of discussed about the character that we would, that the idea that he's always there, uh, sort of, but never in the way. You know, he's sort of like the, the, the impeccable sort of butler that makes sure that everything's in order on the ship. Where we're coming from and what, you know, what our purpose is. It's always been the question that, you know, humans seem to have asked themselves or looked up into the stars and decided that there was gods up, the, up in the skies that were sort of dictating how they would live their lives. So it's always something I think that, you know, humans have been um, driven by and sort of obsessed by. So to actually sort of confront it and come up with uh, with this theory that the, that we are in fact just an experiment, you know, the, the same way that we kind of develop things ourselves in, in a very sort of blasé way, which I think is interesting with the David character as well, because he makes those sort of um, those uh, uh, comparisons. There's a lot of suspense and there's a lot of gruesome stuff and some pretty sort of scary stuff, I think, as well. So it's nice if we can sort of, you know, if I can sort of bring some sort of layer of humor in there. And sometimes that sort of, you know, also puts an audience back into a sense of sort of ease and then you hit them with something something else that's uh, perhaps a little more gruesome or, or, or scary and, and it has maximum effect.